primer products from Laura Mercier. Hello my beautiful friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Miss Ming and my channel I do vlog videos, lifestyle videos, study videos, and makeup videos and everything I'm passionate about to create a happy, healthy, beautiful lifestyle. If this content interests you, make sure you subscribe to this channel and ring the notification bell so that you won't miss out any future content. Before we start this video, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, it really helps me out. All right, in today's video, we're gonna test out the new primer products from Laura Mercier. Yay! I am just so excited to try this. Um, before we start, I just want to do a disclaimer. I got those products for free from Influencer. So if you have multiple social media accounts and you also want to receive products to try, um, you can definitely sign up from Influencer. I'll put the link in the description box down below. This is not sponsored, but I sign up for Influencer. I fill out some surveys and I review some products and sometimes you can qualify for free box and to try out different products. So I was so fortunate to be selected to try out the Laura Mercier primers. This is a new product. I am so excited. Excited. I definitely love Laura Mercier products, but a lot of times they're so expensive that I cannot afford to purchase them in Sephora. So thanks to Influencer, I could definitely have a chance to try this out. So in today's video, we're going to put those two for try. We're going to put the hydrating primer on this side and we're going to put the blurring primer on this side. Oh, at the time of filming this intro, you can tell I already put them on. So as we put them on together on camera, I'm gonna give you my first impression and then I'm gonna go on about on my day and then later I'm gonna give you at the end of the day review for those products. So we're gonna see which primer is better and we're gonna see like which primer is better for what type of skin, for what season, so that in the future if you have the budget to try one of those products to purchase yourself, you can make an informed decision. Are you ready? Let's get started! This one is the hydrating primer and this one is the blurring primer. Primer. So we're gonna try both at the same time on different side of the face. So on this side of the face, we're gonna try the hydrating primer from Laura Mercier, and the other one is gonna be the blurring primer. Okay, so first we're gonna open the hydrating primer for this side. Okay. Ooh. First impression of the product, I feel like this is like a water gel cream. It's like a little bit pink dye. I'm not 100% sure it has slightly color and it's really, really lightweighted. Well, if you can see right here, it's like um water gel cream. It feels like a moisturizer, like a very, very lightweighted moisturizer. So let's see, really, really hydrating. That is true. Hydrating. It really feels like a moisturizer. Um, it doesn't feel like a primer, but I think in winter it's actually really nice if you have a moisturizer that functions as a primer that really hydrates your skin. But it feels so good. It feels like a really nice water gel cream. Another great factor about these two products is that both of them are silicone free. So if you're allergic to silicone or if you have like skin irritations with silicone, it's definitely really, really good product for you. Okay, now I'm gonna try the blurring primer on the left side. Recently, I've been having a lot of skin problems because I started my new job. I have to wake up like around 5, 5.30 every day. Uh, with my new job, I think like the air conditioner is constantly on. It's like colder inside than outside and it's only January. So my skin was having a lot of problems, I think because of the um, low humidity in the office. Mm. The blurring primer has a little bit of thicker consistency. It feels more like a primer. I still feel like this one is also hydrating too, but it feels like like a film on my skin on a, in a good way. And I feel like I need a little bit more product for the blurring primer just because it's not as um, hydrating or watery as the other one. So I just took a little bit more product. See, it has a thicker consistency and it feels like it's gonna fill my pores. I'm gonna put it on this side. I feel like my, my hand is actually getting really, really smooth because of the blurring primer. I feel like the blurring primer is more like the one from Smashbox, the one that's like blurring, pore filling type of primer. 
Okay, so the primer is on. Let's try the foundation to see if it has any difference. Before we do the foundation, we're gonna put on sunscreen. This is a very essential step in any skincare or makeup routine because like without sunscreen, like all of the like expensive moisturizer and cream products that you put on your face are in vain because like the sun has a lot of damage to the skin and it causes skin early aging. So today I'm using the Ikeon's Daily Shield Tainted SPF 50 Tainted Sunscreen. I love tinted sunscreen because like I love physical sunscreen but they leave a white cast. According to dermatologists, you're supposed to use like a quarter size of the sunscreen. It's actually a lot, like you need more amount than what you think. So let's... <laughs> Look at my sunscreen. I feel like the hydrating side really makes my skin feel good and I feel like the sunscreen goes on really smoothly just because like my skin is more hydrated than before. Let's see the blurring side. Oh, the blurring side, actually, it goes even more smooth. So I felt like the blurring primer puts on the film um, that makes your like sunscreen or foundation put on even smoother versus the other side is more about, oh, it's so hydrated that like it's not patchy. From my experience of like blending my tinted sunscreen, um, my first impression is like the hydrating primer side is more hydrated. Um, my tinted sunscreen goes on really smoothly. However, it feels like my sunscreen is it's easy for my sunscreen to move around on my face because my face is like so hydrated and it's like blended versus this side I feel like it's harder to push my tinted sunscreen around I think my primer really grasps the tinted sunscreen that's my first impression so this side it's harder to push around but when it stays it stays versus this side it's easier to push around but I feel like my tinted sunscreen kind of moves around I have to like re-blend it all right, now it's foundation time. We're gonna put on is a cosmetic CC cream foundation because it has SPF 50. I'm gonna go on a hike today, so I need double sunscreen. Okay, and this is my number one go-to foundation in winter because it's really hydrating. It's really blendable. The only thing is that this foundation kind of moves around on my face because it's so blendable. And we're gonna try putting foundation on both sides of the face and we're gonna see if there's any difference. Okay, on the hydrating side, I just feel like it's very easy to blend. Yes, the foundation just goes on so fast, so smoothly because like my skin is so hydrated. You know, like sometimes when you have dry skin in winter, the foundation just wouldn't go on every time it goes on. It just becomes so patchy and cakey and you can actually see the lines. Um, it happened to me on my wedding day because it was like so dry in January versus, let me try this side. Okay, this side it's harder to like brush because I felt like the blurring primer is like locked in your foundation So basically you cannot brush smoothly <clears throat> So the better way to put foundation on is actually to dab it on and I feel like the blurring primer is gonna lock it in Versus this one. It's very easy just to go this way with a hydrating primer Versus with the blurring primer you just have to dab because it doesn't really push around Which I think if you have a foundation that moves around on your face Maybe the blurring primer is gonna be better because it locks in your foundation Versus if your foundation is already very hard to push around on your face Maybe try the hydrating primer because it's gonna make it smoother when you actually go like this in a circular motion so I noticed that I do need to use different techniques when putting on foundation with two different primers. And this side of face actually looks different from this side of face after putting on primer. It feels like my foundation is more on the hydrating side, not so much on the matte side. Versus the blurring primer, I feel like my foundation is on the matte side. So hydrating compared to more matte. I think it does change the finish of your foundation with two different primers, which is actually very interesting. I think so far I like the finish of the hydrating primer. Yes, especially in winter. Maybe in summer I'll like this one, but right now this one, it feels like my skin is glowing. This side is like, uh, yeah, it's good. It's matte. It's, I think it's really poor filling, but it just doesn't feel as great as this side. This side is more like healthy skin looking versus this side is like matte, um, full coverage. But I feel like in winter, I do prefer this one a little bit better. Yeah will actually change the like finished look of your foundation. It feels like I'm using two different foundations from the same brand. You know how a cosmetic CC cream, it has like different finishes, like it has hydrating, matte, oil-free, something like that. I just feel like it looks like it's 
two foundations but from the same brand this side is so good versus this side is like matte I do like this side and this one I think it's like less natural than this side I think this side has like a natural finish but also full coverage mmm interesting okay so let's put on some concealer and we're gonna go on about our day I did some home workout like after I put on makeup so it's normal to see the foundation to fade away because I was doing workouts and now I'm gonna go for a run initially I was gonna go hiking but something unfortunate happened so we ended up like canceling the um, trip so this side is the side that I used the hydrating primer and this side is the blurring primer I think so far I like the hydrating primer way better because I felt like the blurring primer it's not as smooth I feel like in winter my skin is so much drier than my summer skin so I think the hydrating primer is making my foundation so smooth it feels good so hydrated and it's glowy and naturally versus this side I feel like my foundation is more cakey than the other side I hope you can see it from the camera I can definitely see it from from my viewfinder because like this area is way better than this area because I feel I feel like the blurring primer it helps me to fill up the pores but in winter I feel like the blurring primer really helps me to blur my pores but it grabs my foundation way more and that grabbing power in winter it's not necessary it makes my foundation a little bit more patchy and cakey compared to the hydrating primer but I think it really because of its winter it's so drying here here, and usually it's so humid here in Texas in the summer so definitely that's just my number one notice is like I love my hydrating primer way more than blurring primer it's not a bad product but I feel like it's not necessary to grip my foundation in winter if you know what I'm saying all right now I'm gonna go for a run hey guys I just I'm back from my run and you can tell this is from my hat oh my god my hat is like oh getting rid of my makeup so we're just gonna look at it from here down below I think my this side is still better than this side although I felt like this side see it's more cakey than this hydrating side so I think we're pretty confident that the hydrating set works better in winter yeah yes okay I'm gonna give my endorsement to the Laura Mercier hydrating primer I do think it works better than the blurring for winter seasons if you have dry skin in winter I think it will work way better than the blurring one because the blurring one is kind of gripping too much to the foundation and then winter when it's already drying it just becomes like more patchy and kicky all right that's it for today if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and comment down below what's your favorite primer to use so we can all try it out all right that's it for today thumbs up and subscribe ring the notification bell I'll see you in my next video. Bye!